Hey guys, this is Scott, and uh, welcome to my channel, A Skate Park by Scott. And I'm here to do another little uh, painting uh, video for you today. And if you're already, if you're coming back to see me, I appreciate you for coming back. And if you're just now watching my uh, videos, uh, then uh, I hope you come back as well. All right, so let's get to it. Uh, this is a 18 by 24 uh, canvas here, and today I'll be doing a a sunset sky. I've been doing a lot of blue skies in my videos here lately, so I thought I'd just change it up a little bit and uh, do a, a sunset for you. So, uh, first thing I'll do is paint the top portion white. And uh, now, if you are seeing me for the first time, just watch my other videos and you'll see my process, okay? So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera off to save some power on uh, my camera because all I'm gonna do is just paint this top portion white. Anybody can do that, all right? So I'll be right back. All right, did my white up here. Now I got me some yellow. Decide where you want your yellow. I think I'm gonna come all the way down to here. Yeah, right here. And just drop in the yellow. You know, with that white down there, and also spread down a little mist from my uh, bottle with water. And to just keep it wet. Something like that. I'm going to come back in here and just pick me up a little bit of red. Come up in here. Do something like that. Then now I come in here and give me some crimson. Maybe a little more of that crimson. All right. I'm gonna give me a clean brush. With a clean dry brush now, and start blending. Might need to get a little water on here. blend all the way up you know there's many ways of doing these sunsets I just this is just another way of doing it color here and uh, I'm going to put in a nice little little dark little cloud right here. Because this is purple, okay. But if I was to use, you know, 
blue and it touches that yellow of course we all know blue and yellow makes green right through here will make a green cloud and I don't want a green cloud in my sunset so just use purple a purple color would be just fine and uh, if you don't have a straight up purple color you can mix a little crimson and uh, some uh, Prussian blue uh, mix it together a whole lot more crimson than blue and just mix it until you, you know you got your, your right color that you're looking for put a little white in there take some of that color off to the side put a little white in there and that will tell you what you got and so but you, you can get away with it because it's purple and if it touches with yellow it's okay now I got me a little black and blue and some white I, I don't know, just mix up with some paint because I didn't want this I'm putting a mountain in here and I just didn't want that mountain to be a very bold dark color because uh, you know, I want to still be sitting off in the distance so here we go I'm gonna come all the way up here something like that Be all right. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna color. I'm just gonna go ahead and color off the, the rest of the mountain in, and I'll be right back. Now I'm using some color, uh, basically what I did the mountain with, and I'm gonna just come in here and I'm gonna put in some trees. Allow some of that yellow to show. Okay. Notice how I'm holding my brush, I'm holding it horizontal. Make these nice little trees. continue on uh, doing this here and I'll be right back now I'd like to uh, point out this right here I want to fill this area right in here with some trees okay well um, first what I'm going to do I'm going to come right here at the very bottom of this mountain and I'm going to put in this little bit of, of white this uh, little misty area right here right here at the very bottom Because this is going to uh, be your little separator. Now some of this will show. Because I'm going to have the trees coming all the way up to here. Now if I didn't have that mist, they would blend right into that color of the mountain. And you won't be able to tell. But since I have that here, um, that's a good little separator from, uh, from one object to another. Alright? So uh, I'll be right back. Alright. Now... As this is dry, I'm going to come back up to my cloud here. Now I'm going to put in uh, a little sunspot. And I think on my little sunspot, I'm going to come right here. I got me a little white on my uh, paintbrush. Now, uh, when you get your paint on your brush, wipe the excess off. Don't put too much up here. And just uh, put that little spot right there. Right down here. Just to get an idea where that sun is at. Alright? So I'll be right back. I got my sun in. I just did a few little sun rays. Very little uh, paint on your brush. White paint. And I just went over this cloud. Top and bottom. I want to come up in here with some of this light and just let it skip. Just don't do one sh one straight line. Just let it skip here and there. Something like that. All right, be right back. 
All right, this mountain's good and dry, of course. I'm going to come back in here and put in some good old mountain color. Uh, brown, blacks, and yellow ochres, things of this nature. And, you know, you won't see no purple and pinks, you know, in my mountain color, okay? So, uh, whatever you feel like. Just a little here and there. Kind of like let it break, let some of that dark color show. That take a little practice. Just lay your knife right on the side of it and just let it glide down. The knife, the knife itself shouldn't touch the canvas, all right? So think of it like that, just the paint. And you just pull on that paint right down. All right, I'm gonna work on this a bit. And of course, I'm gonna have me some trees up in here also. Some far away trees. So, uh, all right, so I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm gonna come back with these trees right here, right where the sun is at. I'm going to highlight them. Just a few of these. Something like that. And I'm going to go back and forth and keep highlighting these and uh, I'll be right back. Alright, I think I'm done up in here. So let's go ahead and put a nice little metal right through here. Alright, that just makes me have some green and yellow paint. And just come right through here. Now this does a couple things here. This, uh, of course, adds another layer uh, to your uh, painting. And also, it cleans up the bottom of the force you just put in here. Something like that. And then you can come back in here with some yellow ochre. Again. guys a heads up on something is that uh, since you know this is a very uh, uh, you know large painting a lot to do and everything I certainly am not going to be able to put it all in one camera shot so uh, just give you a heads up on that I'm going to have to turn the camera off here a little while and let it charge up but anyway I'm going to come right through here and I put some trees in I'm going to mix me up some color be right back all right, I'm gonna mix me up some black and some green, and I'm gonna come right in here to start putting in some trees. all the way down the line all right so I'll be right it's gonna take me a little good little while to do this so I'll be right back all right guys again one more thing is that make sure you get, you know subscribe to my channel for help me out and hit that old like button and I would appreciate it 
And uh, the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to put in me some water right through here. And uh, so I'll be mixing it some paint. And I'll be dropping that water in. All right. Be right back. All right. First call I'm going to start off with is some uh, Prussian blue. And uh, just come right wherever you want to come out and just touch it. Come straight down. Make sure you put some uh, water on your canvas. You can even put some on your brush as well. And it makes this a whole lot easier. It just really slides out pretty good. to some phthalo green and I'm going to come right here at the edges right here at the edges it in place and we're in business. Right. I'll be right back. Oh but it's camera's done turn red on me so I'm gonna have to let you guys go and I'll be right back uh, a little while as soon as my camera charges up. Be right back. Alright guys, I'm back and uh, I'm going to go ahead, these trees I've done right here, I'm going to reflect them into this water here and uh, basically the same way, but uh, just uh, not too much paint, okay, with this here and then of course, you know, you don't need to get these exactly the same way. Something like that. And then come down with your little brush here. Kind of pull down. And then you go across. It gives that a little blurry effect. And I'm going to do the rest uh, right through here. All right, and I'll be right back. I'm gonna come back and highlight some of these trees here. And then come right back down here, and highlight some of these and the reflections. Thank you. 
Now I'm getting the brush here straight down. I'm gonna do that all the way down. So, uh, all right, I'll be right back. So I got the old little one-liner brush, and I got this paint uh, on, on the brush, as you can see. And I'm just gonna come right around here and uh, put in some some little water lines. Try to keep these things straight. That's the key. And I'm going to continue. You know, I got the one-liner brush on uh, again on the horizontal line, and I'm just letting the canvas pull off that paint, basically. And so uh, I'll be right back. You know, this painting right here, as, as I'm looking at it, turned out to be a very colorful, uh, bright little painting. So I'm going to continue on doing that. So uh, what I'm going to do here, and I'm going to put me in a nice little uh, bush, a uh, flower bush, right here. upside down and it's kind of like that the way it's doing I'm gonna have to do try that next time have the brush instead of going like that have it upside down and go up Care about bushes is growing and growing, ain't it? That, I'm gonna stop right there and I'll be right back. Now I'm just taking a little uh, filter brush here and uh, just going around here making me some nice little flowers. Just doing a little sideways uh, motion here. Lots of ways to do these. on and then I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm done with this painting. I might piddle with it a little bit more later on, but uh, I can't. You know, one thing you gotta do when you're painting, you gotta know when, when to stop. Because you can't work it to death and you can just kill everything that you've done. So, uh, so I'm not gonna do that. I spent too much time on this thing here, so I ain't gonna ruin it. I don't know, it might be ruined now. That's up to you, this side, right? But there's just a few little pointers I like to uh, show you um, when you're doing the sky sunset again don't let if you try not to use your blue use your, if you do use your blue up here the yellow just don't let the yellow and blue touch because it will turn green all right this color right here that I use with just purple just a purple color again a crimson and blue uh, mixed together will make purple if you don't have a purple color uh, all right and then uh, 
you know, with your water here, with your line, make sure that they're straight. And uh, the other, other than that, is pretty much, uh, uh, you know, a basic uh, thing right here is your little foggy area, right here, your little mist area, right there at the bottom of that mountain. Like I told you, um, that's your little separator. See all these little trees right here? If I didn't have that white mist right through here, you wouldn't be able to see the tops of them because they would blend into that mountain. All right, so uh, keep that in mind when you're doing things like that. You use a little mist for your little separator. Uh, but you know, other, other than that, uh, it, pretty nice painting this one's turned out to be, I think. Now, if I don't get a few likes on this painting, there's something wrong with you. All right, there's something going, something bad going on here. If I don't get a few likes, well, this turned out to be okay painting, and it's not bad for someone that you know. You know, I thought this painting for a few days. In my mind, if it's going by what I see in my mind, that that's what I've done. You know, my thoughts on canvas, like I've always said. Um, but anyway. Until next time, guys, you guys take care of yourself. You know, hit that like button for me. Help me out. Help me out continue doing these things. And this is my 45th video that I've been done. And uh, I believe I got 19 subscribers. Appreciate you guys for, for doing that for me. Uh, it really, you know, it helps me out. So uh, until uh, next time, guys, my next one, I think what I'll do is a oval, a 16 by 20 oval. So if you want to go out and get yourself a 16 by 20 oval canvas, if you are following me, then uh, if not, if you just want to pull up your chair and, and grab your glass of Mountain Dew or Pepsi or whatever you want to drink, you know, sit down here, you know, and watch. And um, if that's what you like to do, fine. You don't need to paint along, you know. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, until next time, guys, take care of yourselves now.